Hello, good day. My name is Joseph Balanera. Today, we're having a reflection on the topic favor or fruits, obstacles. When you talk about favor or when favor is mentioned, you're talking about you probably getting what you didn't necessarily work for or something that is not uh, the same measure to the effort you actually put in. Now, a very good biblical example is uh, Zerubbabel who God had already spoken through different prophets that he was going to build his house and he still had challenges. Now let's quickly take a look at uh, the book of Zechariah chapter 4, we're reading from verse 6 to 9. And he answered and said unto me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who are you a great mountain before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain, and he shall bring forth the capstone, with shouts of grace, grace to it. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of the temple. His hands shall also finish it. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. This is the story of uh, a man that different prophet had, prophets had already prophesied that was going to build God's temple, and suddenly he had challenges. Now, one lesson we can learn from this is, the fact that God has already made his plan known to you or the, the fact that he has already, you have a clear picture of where you're going to, doesn't necessarily mean you have challenges, you have obstacles. That's, uh, Zerubbabel is a very good example of that. But one consolation I believe we have is the fact that God will always have our backs. Now, uh, as long as you're trying to make progress, the challenges and the obstacles will always be there. But I, think, I believe we have God to always look up to. Now, not because God himself will make things difficult for us to get to. He already promised us that. But because John 10.10 10 talks about the devil coming to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So uh, for every uh, circus we're about making, the devil will always be there to cut it short. And then, but as I said earlier, it's very important that we have God backing us up. Then the question now is, how do we find favor before God? Um, I guess by following his will, reading the Bible every day. Correct, yeah. By doing what pleases God. By following his word and by doing what pleasing to God. Now, Anna said something in the book of First Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. She said, For by strength shall no man prevail. So if we understand or appreciate the fact that we can't do everything by our own power, I strongly then believe that we need the favor of God. It's my prayer today that as we live our lives daily, we will always find favor with God in Jesus' name.